Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Greg. Welcome to the channel. So I wanted to talk today about the uh, Thunder Wizard path and where I'm at on it and the whole obstacles and the ups and downs of what's going on with it. You know, it's a very um, challenging, challenging path to be on that spiritual road, you know, especially with the Thunder Wizard's teachings because when you start doing things like uh, Qigong, you start bringing in that that spiritual energy, you know. Like he says, it's um, you got to make room for it. When you, the only way you can make room for it is by exposing your unconscious to yourself, becoming aware of it, becoming aware of the blockages, becoming aware of those quick reactions, those anger anger reactions, those uh, depressing reactions. You know, those feelings of um, low self esteem. Feelings of, uh, I'm not going to make it. Uh, I don't feel like doing this today. You know, you have to um, really look at those things. And you have to really reach a point where you're really comfortable with feeling those emotions. You know, because like he says, those, those emotions are within us in a natural way. We are, we're here to experience all our emotions. You know, the whole wheel of emotions is always spinning around and it's it's in our nature to feel all of them. Loneliness, depression, anger, fear, low self-esteem, happiness, joy, power, spiritual power, um, confidence, you know. So we always go up and down with all these different um, feelings, you know. It can be really hard and it can be really easy at times too. You know, there are days when I feel really, really super energized and motivated to go do, do things in my life. You know, doing Qigong brings that energy in. Doing things like the, uh, the Thurisa's Rune Mudra, which is connected to Thor, which really brings in this protective energy within you. And it really does, it weeds out people in your life that just aren't working for you. Or their behavior changes towards you. Doing things like that really gives me that good motivation. And at other times, it, it really doesn't. It feels like it's not working. You know, if like I sometimes I'll go into the market and uh, alone too, you know. And uh, when I go when I go alone, uh, I, I, I tend to have that. Uh, I mean, I, of course, I'm alone. I'm not going to be talking to myself. I'm keeping to myself, you know. But I'm not so uh, social, I would say, to the people that when, I, when they ring me up or whatever. And uh, as I'm going about the aisles, you know, I'm keeping to myself. I'm very much inside my shell, you know. Um, it, people could sense that I'm really closed up. But at the same time, I'm really tolerant and cool with people, too, at the same time, you know. Um, uh, why was I mentioning that? I don't know. Oh, but the, oh, there could sometimes I could run into people in the aisles that are talking, especially like two guys, two guys or more than two guys, Um They'll start talking. They'll start talking about some other guy, you know, and then they're talking next thing you know, they're talking a bunch of shit about somebody, you know, having all kinds of bad comments. And this guy's all, well, whatever. And he's such a weakling and he never speaks up. And, you know, I want him to talk louder, this guy. And why doesn't he do that? And pff, what a fool. And, you know, I always sense I've sensed been around those kind of people all my life, especially going into stores, department stores. Um, I could think back 20 years ago, you know, some of these things still ring in my ears about these experiences that I've had with people, you know. Um, a lot of times I could get the sense, like, I start thinking, what, are these motherfuckers talking about me? You know what I mean? I wish they would just step up and say something to me and, you know, have the balls to say something to me instead of being, like, they're talking about somebody else, but they can't really say it to me. You know, those are the thoughts that I have. But is that really a true thought about what's going on? So, a lot of times I, I do really think it is because I've worked at jobs where the same thing happens around me. People start saying stuff. And um, when it comes time to me talking to them about things, they have a certain attitude with me. They give me attitude. And as over time, as time goes by, and I start really seeing who they are, and it's not that I say something to them, it's just that I put out a vibe like, you're full of shit. <laughs> they eventually start getting like really uncomfortable around me. Like now all of a sudden they're full they're filled with fear. 
you know, they get they get really nervous around me. All of a sudden, da 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 da, and they're stuttering and stuff. You know what I mean? So those are the kind of experiences that make me think these things that these guys are kind of talking about me, but they're not really having the guts to come out and say it. You know? And being around those kind of guys at work has made me realize they're the weakest ones. You know, the guys who really talk loud and act like they're big badass macho dudes. I'm not saying all of them, but the most of the ones that I've experienced. They're the weakest ones. They're the ones that are starving for attention, and they're the ones that are trying to bother and hurt people so they could feed off of that energy and feel good about who they are. You know, they might not even be conscious of that motivation, you know. But I see people like that get stimulated with energy because I've seen these guys at jobs bothering other people. And once they notice that they're really bothering that person, they're putting them in a bad state of mind. They feel really good all of a sudden. You know, you can you can see that that whole swagger in the way they walk and all that. You know, especially as I've gotten older, you know, I've calmed down a lot with that. But um, yeah, maybe a few weeks ago when I was in the market, I felt this. I had that that experience again, and it's been a few years since it happened. And uh, I really remained really calm. As I left the market, though, in the in the car, I started getting into those thoughts again, like these motherfucker punks. You know, I wish they were just, they're the weakest one. You know, I start thinking exactly all these things I'm saying, and but I'm getting angry about it too, you know. I come home, I'm putting groceries away, I'm getting all pissed off, you know. And then I kind of stop myself, and, you know, I start thinking, well, you know, why am I so focused on these guys, you know? Why am I so focused on who they are? You know, they're on their own path, you know, I got to let them be who they are, you know. You know, it's not my responsibility to really be so pissed off about who they are and why they're acting that way you know my thoughts are like they're they're ignoring their unconscious they don't they're not aware of their unconscious they're off balance you know and so that's uh, the last time i talked to the thunder wizard that's something that i talked to him about and he was um he was basically saying yeah it could it's their unconscious but it's also my unconscious and it could be a mixture of both you know these intertwinings of energies you know when you're around people but um he was telling me that it was really good that i stopped myself once i left and i was asking myself why am i reacting to these things like that you know if i'm really comfortable in my own skin i shouldn't be bothered by who people are who other people are you know if they're acting a certain negative way and they're and i'm getting bothered by it it's something within me i am seeing the reflection of myself outside of myself you know, I might not be too aware of it, exactly what it is, but there's something there, you know. And uh, he was saying, like, you don't really have to be, you don't really have to really find the exact memory that triggers that. But if you do, that's good. But, I mean, as long as you know that feeling and you know that you're reacting in that way because of something in your life, you know, that's good because you start healing yourself you start not using that unconscious energy as a point of reference to have that reaction out into the world, you know. And that really felt good, you know. But we we get into uh, conversations about, like, my mother and father, you know, how I was raised and stuff like that, which wasn't the most positive experience. But then again, I had positive experiences too, you know. But, you know, those negative memories are the ones that really stick in there. They last, and you don't want to react from those, those, um, those uh, memories. You know, memories are stored in the body as a as a vibration in the muscles. You know, so it's um it's really important to really keep pushing ahead, keep looking inside yourself. You know, going into meditation and finding those those things that that bother you. You know, when you when you meditate, you know, you don't whatever thoughts happen come your way. You know, don't try to block them out. Just keep looking at them. Keep finding what the, where the pain is, where the anger is. You know, because sometimes um, I do that, and after doing that, I get into a really peaceful state of mind. You know, I get into that, that empty mind, where I'm not even thinking nothing. You know, I'm just purely like feeling like I'm floating, and it feels really good, you know. 
And then when I'm in that state of mind and I look back at these reactions I'm having, they seem so mundane, so ridiculous, you know. So, um, yeah, I would recommend still everybody keep on doing that uh, Qigong. And uh, if you have a, if you gotten those Vedic astrology, Thunder astrology readings, you know, keep uh, doing your mantras, all that, you know. It's important to be uh, consistent with those things, especially Qigong. You know, even if you can only do it five minutes a day, as the Thunder Wizard says, you know, keep doing it. It's better than not doing it at all. It's really uh, going to keep you empowered, keep you focused, you know. And it's important to remember that everything is a reflection of ourselves. You know, whatever's going on in the world, whatever's bothering you, it's always something inside yourself you want to look at. So that's all I wanted to talk about. And uh, thanks for watching. Anybody want that Thunder Astrology reading, I'll leave the, the link on the bottom. Hope you guys are cool. Have a good one. Peace.